Braid's farm became part of the Towers family in 1960 when my grandfather uh, married my grandmother and they had six cows and that was the beginning of Braid's farm. Then my brother and I joined the business after university and uh, decided we needed to do something more specialist than just local milk and following my background in the coffee industry we decided to launch a barista milk for the London market and the rest is history. When Joe and I first came back to the farm, we didn't have Jersey cows here. Um, we imported a load of these Jersey cows from Denmark just to increase the quality of the overall milk that we produce. Edward's role is to farm the animals and uh, look after everything up until the milk is in the tank, at which point it becomes my responsibility to find a market for the milk and look after the supply chain, processing of the milk and the branding and marketing and then the uh, logistics and relationships with our customers and distributors. When a customer buys Braids Farm milk, they know for sure that every drop of milk in that product has come from these cows here at Braids Farm. That's actually quite rare, uh, believe it or not, in the dairy industry these days. In London, we supply exclusively to Alan Reader, who are also a family business. That relationship works really well for us. We like coming down to the coffee festival and, and also Ben comes up and sometimes he brings customers to come and have a look at the cows and see what we do here. I love being close to the customer, being able to talk to the customer and see, see what they want us to do on the farm differently and what their issues are. I've been a dairy farmer kind of all my life, so I'm kind of normalised to what we do. So it's really good to get the people who are actually using the milk to come and see and, and kind of challenge us and question us on what we do too. Here at Braids Farm, we only have one farm, so one policy for each area. And anybody who wants to know what's going on on the farm can find out exactly that. I think that traceability aspect is, is, is quite special and quite unique. We produce the milk specifically for one particular use, uh, one particular market, and that's the coffee shop market. So everything we do is, is done with the coffee shop market and their needs for the product in mind.